Good morning guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do a Spark. Okay, we're about to leave, but I wanted to show you an outfit of the day real fast. I picked up these new shirts from Target. I'll try to link them if I can get the link for it. And I got a few other colors, so I'll show you those before we leave. I picked up this belt. It's Steve Madden, and I got it from Ross for $9.99. And then these are my pants you guys always ask me about. I've had them a few years from Ross and love them. And then my shoes are TJ Maxx. But I recently went shopping and picked up a few things, so let me show you. I will do like a fall try on haul but we're going shopping today which I'll talk about here in a second but I've already picked up some stuff so I just wanted to show you the shirt I have on I got in black and then like blush and then I got a few hoodies for like these two um from this was all from Target and then I got this really neat like oversized sweatshirt from Kohl's right there and it's got like a neat lace detail down the sleeve and then just a solid white oversized um sweatshirt as well and that was from Target so like I said I'll do a try on haul but we're actually going on a little day trip Chase has the day off and um Savannah was wanting to go to the mall which you can tell she's getting older when they want to shop and um I actually lived in like the Edmond area where I went to school so there's a good mall up there so we're gonna go ahead and drive it's about two hours away from us and do some fall shopping for Savannah Chase and me and then we're gonna do they have a really cool children's museum they're gonna run into really quickly and then we're gonna go to dinner in Bricktown and hopefully do like a little boat ride it's called like a water taxi Hopefully we can fit that all in today because then we have to get right back here because Chase has work tomorrow. But we're going to go and take you guys with us. But I did want to let you guys know that I will be doing some type of like fall clothing haul or try on. It'll probably just be in like one of these style videos day in the live because I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So I promise I'll definitely have that coming. Okay, we are in the car on the road now headed to breakfast and then OKC. But I did want to let you guys know I've teamed up with Webru before and I have again for today's video. Um, we really enjoy having their app and their product. It's a Wi-Fi security. So when I'm on my phone like answering comments or shopping <laughs> or doing anything outside of like our secure Wi-Fi at home, they protect us and keep our location safe, our information safe. We all keep like credit cards and private information stored on our phones now. So definitely if you're interested in something like that, just click the link down below in my description box and you won't regret it. Um, I also wanted to mention to you guys I've been filming my vlogs a little bit different and I'm curious if you like it I've been asking questions like in my description box but I know not everybody reads it but I've been doing like more talking and less music so if you guys have been liking this style the last like three or four have been that way definitely let me know so I know to keep making them this way so just leave it down below in the comment section so we're getting breakfast every time we take a road trip we typically always do McDonald's we did um, donuts the last time, but that's yeah. not normal. Want some salty? It's got his coupon. That's the way to go, guys. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without his coupons. <laughs> Saves about four bucks right there. Uh, Savvy, are you ready for the trip? Yeah. We got our car loaded. I always like to bring blankets. She's got her bag packed. We got an ice chest full of water and snacks. And look at the cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going, but he gets to do Nani's day. He's going to Grandma's house. Oh, he said he wants to go. No, he'll be happy at Nani's house. I love how he sits in this little chair like he's. <laughs> he props his leg up. It's like the Hi, coolest guys. guy ever. Sup, guys? <laughs> he's like, I'll be good. I promise. I promise I'll be good. Okay, I need to get this food. I'm getting hungry. Uh oh. With the egg white delight, make a negative biscuit. Yes. Okay. It's gonna make it 10.43. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotta use those coupons, people. I'm glad you have them Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You ready for your drink and stuff? Do you have a cup holder? Yeah. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Are you getting any rice coffee and two waters? Yes. Alright, and they like the light order? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you. 
So I got the Egg White Delight. These are really good if you haven't ever had them. And then a water. Chase got an iced coffee and a sausage, cheese, and bacon biscuit. Got sausage, egg, and cheese. Sausage, egg, and cheese. And then Savannah got the bacon, egg, and cheese. Whoop, you're about to eat it. I <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Tiger, do you know where we're going? Do you know where we are? Every time we turn into the neighborhood, he normally knows. Yeah. And he will be spoiled rotten today, so nobody feel bad for him. He's gonna have the best life with Nani. He actually doesn't like leaving with us when we come back to pick him up, don't you? Yeah, he wants to stay. You want to stay at Grandma's house, don't you? I know. <laughs> Okay, so we're here and I wanted to give you a few shopping tips um, before we head into the mall. So this is kind of how I do my wardrobe shopping. So the first thing I do is I go into Pinterest and like for fall, I start just taking pictures of looks and styles that I like and want to create. And then after that, I went into my closet and I kind of just needed to see what I have. Do I have any of this already that I don't need to buy? And then I also tried on just some of my fall clothes from last year and got rid of what was like torn or dirty or didn't fit anymore I just didn't like so I know when I'm going shopping today exactly what's in my closet you could always snap pictures too of a few items but when I'm in here I'm not like wandering and just gonna be buying a tons of stuff I don't need or already have I've been through my closet so it's fresh in my head I have my pictures of what I'm wanting to create free curate and so that's kind of how I do this like capsule wardrobe shopping so now let's head inside yeah, watch out Quail Springs Mall <laughs> We're right. coming for you with strategy. <laughs> here we are. It's been about a decade or longer since I've been in here. I married Chase and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They just opened. It's 10 o'clock, so there may not be a ton of people in here yet, which is kind of my style anyways. Exactly. Savvy, are you ready to shop? Yeah. Did you go through your closet to know what you need? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm here looking at the decor. This is like my snake plant on my kitchen table, but apparently they get super tall. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be careful. That is crazy. I had no idea, which I mean, this is a thick base, but even just from here to here, man, super tall. <laughs>
in the car now. I didn't get to vlog a lot because they have like loud music blaring everywhere and I'll get hit with like a copyright claim, but we didn't find much. I got something from Victoria's Secrets and then Savannah got a few pieces I'll show you later um, from Children's Place, but Chase and I did not find any clothes. I don't know, I was not impressed. Um, but I have another video that's up today and I have a lot of people asking me about the lipstick so I thought I'd go ahead and show you. It's this Superstay Ink Crayon. So this is just like the liquid um, lipstick I use but it's in more of a crayon condition. I couldn't find it anywhere um, but I found it at Ulta. But like I've looked at Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, nobody carries it so you'll have to go to Ulta to get it but it does stay on not as well as like the liquid um, but it does stay on pretty well. Well, I just apply it like once or twice throughout the day if I've been eating a lot and then my color is um, it's number 25 is what I got so and I like this one but now we're gonna go ahead and it's about a 20 minute drive we're gonna head to the Children's Museum and check that out while we're here do we have anything else uh Bricktown after oh, we're Bricktown gonna go to Bricktown and probably try to do the boat in the canals the little water canals through the little Bricktown area and then eat somewhere down there I'll say to me shopping the mall is not fun I like Ross I like TJ Maxx a it's overwhelming and B everybody just like comes at you like the people in the middle even on, like when I was checking out I know if you guys work at the mall at the store you probably have to but like just to get this they were trying to sell me like 5,000 things yeah. and it's like I just want to check out like I know what I want no I don't want the credit card exactly. <laughs> you know and it's like one thing when you say no but like when you have to say it four or five times I don't know when I leave malls I'm just like this is why I like bras and TJ Maxx they don't like attack you while you're there the hair people the hair people always get me yeah. when I'm walking um, but okay just had that little rant but now we're gonna go on and head on to the next place okay we're going to the Ross this is another one I haven't been to in a while since I don't live around here anymore we left Ross with nothing what? <laughs> nothing it's hard to believe I know it is they just didn't have much oh no Oklahoma City is just kind of failing me today we're not finding a lot here so I'm really shopping's done now. Yeah. We're heading to the museum. The museum and then to like dinner on the boat and stuff. So I guess we save some money. You dodged a ball on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, now we're gonna go ahead and head on. Okay, we made it here. It is packed. It's I think around two oh, it's 1.30. It is hot and everybody's all in school, so they're all here. <laughs> Let's go and check it out. Let's see what it is. Fun. That is so cool. Woo! Is that you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> How fun. in there over two hours really really cool place what is this the Oklahoma City uh, Science Museum it's not even children's it's just Science Museum of Oklahoma 
really, really neat. I saw even a lot of couples on dates in there. Like, yeah. Well, because it's adults, kids. Yeah. There's tons to do. Definitely, if you're like in the area, this is a definitely must do. You could spend all day in there. My feet are killing me. Um, I wore these today trying to be cute, and they don't like rub your feet but they don't have good support, so my feet are throbbing. I should have worn tennis shoes today. I just did not realize how big it was gonna be and how much walking we were gonna be doing. I should have known with like the mall in here, but what do you do? What do you do? But Savannah had fun, Chase had fun. <laughs> I think he played on almost everything. I did. did, there was so much to do. Lots of interactive games and experiments. It was really cool. So the introvert is sitting here. I'm like, I just need a moment in the car with the AC and no people. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was two people out there. Oh, she needs I need a break. time to catch her breath. I'm gonna sleep really, really well tonight after that and chase is looking for a place for us to make reservations we for just dinner. got it reservation where are we going the wedge pizzeria the wedge so that'll be fun that's at 4 30 so we're gonna do that we're do gonna go look at like the water taxi and see if it's worth doing or not so we might be doing that and then we'll be heading home i'll keep like vlogging um but yeah we're gonna just take a little bit and chill because <laughs> i need a break oh the other thing i forgot to mention um in the stores and all that i was carrying my purse and it just gets so heavy on my shoulder especially like when we're out of town because chase and savannah keep stuff in there so before we went in there i pulled out this like you know dupe um louis vuitton backpack it was perfect it was so comfortable on my back and it's got pockets everywhere so i could keep like my phone in the back where nobody could grab it bottle waters it's got like pockets and zippers everywhere it did so well and i feel like it's really good quality so if you guys are in the market for something like that if you just need like a cute backpack especially a mom backpack when you have kids even if you don't have kids i would carry this without savannah so it held up really well it's got a lot of weight in it and it was super comfortable like the way it hung on my shoulders and back or whatever so i have that linked in my amazon store i found it from jessica from keep calm and clean she has like the white version of this but there are different styles but i highly suggest getting something like this it's around 30 bucks right yeah. it was only like 30 bucks i may get the white one now that's a good deal for what it is and yeah and it's just like a louis vuitton dupe but it's really well made so i wanted to share that with you guys so here's the pizza place, the Wedge Pizzeria. We'll let you guys know how it is. <laughs> Just got a pile of brisket over here on the side. Okay, so we left the restaurant. It was super good. Did you like it? Yes, very it's good. Really good. And now we're just like in Bricktown, which is like downtown Oklahoma City, and we're just like walking by the river or the what is that called? River? Uh, it's a it's a canal. Oh. I don't know what they call it exactly. But we're gonna go try to find like the water taxi. I live down here and never once got on it, so it'll just be fun to do. I think Savannah's excited too to yeah. try it out. So we're gonna walk until we find it. Okay, we're on. You're tall. I can. It's hard to get both of you two in the frame. Savvy, are you excited? This is it. This is so cool. This is a lot prettier than I expected. Yeah. What are you thinking about it? I like it. Is it what you expected? I want to go stand on the boat like this. Like Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> like Sonic headquarters is here. I had no idea. They said they run every single Sonic in the country. Oh, that building. So cool. That is. I had no idea. Okay, we are back in the car. It is 7 o'clock and we are headed back to the house. What you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, are we getting pulled over here? You like slope down. Just slow down a little. <laughs> so it's weird. In Oklahoma, we have this new law made me think of it. You have to be in the right hand lane. I don't know if we talked about this before. You can get pulled over. Like it's really recent. You can only be in the left to pass somebody. And you, so you just can't be in the left for too long without passing somebody or they'll pull you over. So one night we were driving home and like we live out in Timbuktu and there's not a lot of lights out there. And so we stayed in the left hand lane. About a I mile and a half before our turn. A turn because it's just out of nowhere. Like there's no signs, nothing. It just sneaks up and even us who live out there, it's still just dark roads. So 
I was over there. Wasn't busy at all on the highway. Cop came and pulled us over. They didn't give us a ticket, but we're like, we can't see the exit. Like, we don't want to just cut across the highway. Well, what's bad is I was in the left lane, and he flashed me from behind. He <laughs> ran up on me, flashed me with his light, so I pulled over in the right-hand lane, and I went a little bit slower than the speed limit, and he would not pass me. He just wouldn't go past me, and I had to turn left, you know, or get back in the left lane to get over uh, onto our street or whatever, and so uh, I had to pull over in front of him, and as soon as I pulled back out in front of him, he turned on the lights, but he would not pass me, and I I couldn't you know speed up or anything uh, i couldn't slow down and hit my brakes so it was a weird situation yeah but he basically made me get in the right lane but would not pass me and i had to get right back over in the left lane to get into our neighborhood yeah. so it was a weird it's a weird law I it, it's so weird and we're all trying to get used to it apparently it's the same on like city streets too but i haven't really noticed cops pulling people over for me yeah, mainly high i course. mean if you're all in one lane do you know how much traffic there's gonna be like you kind of have to like i don't know it drives you have me to crazy. maneuver left and right sometimes yeah. and they'll get you if you're in the left lane so i wondered what he was doing that's probably it so like i said we're gonna head home i'll show us like getting tiger and getting settled um if i have any energy left in me i'll try on some of my fall clothes that i showed you guys earlier since i like didn't buy any today um but we're just gonna wait and see it's late so i might do that in the morning with you guys it's seven and it's about a two-hour drive we have to pick up tiger it'll be nine o'clock before we get home yeah and the lighting may be bad so i probably won't do that tonight um if for some reason it's not in this video it'll be in an upcoming video i just don't know how much energy i'm gonna have when i get home <laughs> so. Um, we stopped, we probably showed the clip, we got um, ice cream. Yeah, marble slab creamer. Yes, Chase got the shake, Savannah got gray ice cream, which I charcoal, loved. charcoal, charcoal mocha. But yeah, it was mocha, so I couldn't get it. And then I always get birthday cake, always. Always. It's either birthday cake or wedding cake, whatever the cake one whatever is. Whatever the cake is. At whatever location, that's the one I always get, super simple, so. Okay, we're headed home. Okay, we're back home. It's 9.09. .09. We actually made really good timing, but we hung out at Chase's parents' house for a little bit, and then we had to stop and get gas. But there's a few questions I've been getting asked a lot, and so while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to do it. One is a lot of you guys went and bought these shoes from Academy or used my link, and you guys are all wanting to know how I tied them, and like how I cut and hide the string. So I'm going to show you real fast how I do that. And then the next one, sling. So here's the two answers to those questions let's start off with the shoes just real fast okay the first thing that you need to do is make sure and it should be already done that that lace is going through where it's going on the inside and it's not coming out but your laces should already be like that um, so just make sure it's going in that way instead of out and then what i'm going to do you can even put these on to make sure they fit well like that they're tight enough but then i just do a knot really close as possible to where it comes through right there so can you see there's like a knot right there and then you're just gonna cut it and then tuck it behind that plastic and then you never see it and you never have to tie your shoes let me see if you can so just like that then you never have to tie it so then I'll come over I'll show you guys this side as well I'm trying to get it I'm going to just do a knot, like so, just as low as I can down there, cut it off, and then tuck it, and like that, you never have to tie your shoes again. You may occasionally have to like tuck these in right there. But then you just slide them on and off and you don't have to worry about it. They don't, right here, I've been wearing them like this because I haven't had time to show you. But then you're either stepping on them or they're like at the top of your foot rubbing and I just don't like that. So every time I buy a pair of tennis shoes, now if you're actually going to be running in them, this probably isn't the best idea. But this works um, just for cute shoes. Even if you're kind of just doing in-home workouts, it works. But that's how I tie them. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna have Chase help me out so I can actually hold the camera. And so we're just gonna turn the TV on, so. Power on. I know a lot of you guys <laughs> want like step-by-step, step, so I just wanna make sure. Cause I know it can be confusing when you're used to cable and this is kind of like internet based. So first uh, off, um, you have to, so 
Sling is just a streaming service, uh, a subscription service on the internet, just like Netflix. So Sling just streams like cable channels, basically. So you have to have a device that streams. So some TVs will support Sling, but only certain brands. So most people will have to have a Roku player or a Fire Stick. And it just plugs in as an HDMI uh, input to the back of your TV or the side of your TV. So right now I'm gonna go to the source, which is the right HDMI component for me that the Sling is hooked up to. So it's so, just like if you were going to your DVD player. We're just picking the source picking, for our Fire Stick. Right. It's like HDMI 1 for our Fire Stick. So we go there. Now if you like prepay for Sling the first three months, they will give you a Roku for free. And how much is Sling a month? Sling is $25 a month instead of a hefty $100 to $150 cable bill. And the first month you get it even cheaper, so it wouldn't even be that full price. So this is the Fire Stick right now. This is just Amazon Fire Stick, and there's different apps on here. So you just download the Sling app that's free. So you'll see it. We've got, uh, we've got Netflix right here, and we have Sling right here. So it's just an app. It's an internet-based service. So we're going to click on Sling. And it just takes you straight to the platform, the home page for it, just like Netflix. It's very similar where you you just choose the channel and it, whenever you're on the channel, it'll show you what movies they have available, what episodes and shows they it'll have It'll have a TV guide. You can also pay like an extra $5 a month and do like when you guys, what's like the recording? Uh, DVR. DVR. You can do DVR. There's also different packages. So you can choose like A package, B package, or you can combine both of them. So here, Ashley's on this one all the time. <laughs> so I'm under guide, and so you could go to all these different channels. So HGTV right here. Uh, so, and this is everything that was on today. So you can see. Um, House Hunters, fans. So I can keep going back like an hour at a time and see everything, and I can go back and watch those. So if it was on yesterday or two days ago, or it was on an hour ago and I missed it, I don't even have to record it. It's already there. And also they have on-demand shows down here where you can watch them anytime. It doesn't have to be live like some of these up here. You can go back and watch some other shows and other seasons. But, uh, but there's all different channels. So I'm scrolling through channels now. Like yeah. There's A&E. There's Lifetime. TBS. So they've got shows and movies, TNT, AMC, all sorts of stuff. And just stuff. click on one, not a scary one. Uh, let's see. So TNT, they can just see. I mean, here's a movie, Snow White and the Huntsman okay. movie. You can watch, you just click on watch. And, there and then there it is. Now some let you pause it like while you're doing something and then other channels won't but you can just stop it and it'll save your spot. So then when you come back into it, you can just resume it from there. Like it'll save it on your home screen. So, so I can just hit the back button and yeah. there we go. So that's it. So that's, that's $25. It's a good supplement or it's a, it's a good replacement for cable. You don't have near as much. You get 30 channels, I think but uh, it's only 25 compared to 100 to 150 for cable. And then we just get like our basic cable from our antenna that's up in our attic, which we've talked about that in a previous video, so. And you get three ESPNs with our package, so that's nice for the sports fans. You get to watch all your football and you get to watch baseball, basketball, all that stuff. And then I get my Lifetime and HGTV, so that's what we use for cable. So that's it. I hope you guys found that helpful. I've been getting a ton of questions about that. You can also log into that since it's like internet based. You can watch it from your phone or if you're going to a hotel, whatever you're doing, you can just log in with your information and watch it. So that's what makes it really nice. Nice Or like if you have Wi-Fi in the car with your kids, you can always turn it on. So anyways, we love it. It beats paying hundreds of dollars for cable. So we cut cable years ago and never look back. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It is like not sponsored in any way. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget if you are looking for that Wi-Fi security to click on the link down below in my description box for WebRoot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.